everybody, this is Kristen from Christopia Studios. I hope you're all well and safe. And right now, I'm trying to use up some colors that I had for a huge project, which I will be showing you at some point in time um, later, but I need to use them before they go dr too dry. They've been sitting for a few days. Just making sure my canvas is level enough. Okay packed on bottoms are not quite. That's better. All right. So today I've decided to do some things that I've been wanting to experiment with but haven't yet done. This time I've seen a lot of people doing these kind of oblong swipes on their canvases. So I think we're going to go there today. I'm trying to think of a really fun color to use as a base. Since I'm using copper to swipe, maybe I'll do kind of a burnt umber base, like a deep, dark burnt umber. This won't have silicone in it. So, I'll cover it since the canvas is blank and it's not a used one that I'm pouring over. I feel like I need to put a base coat on. Just because. And we will spread it. It's kind of a nice backdrop for a metallic you could do. Again, we're just playing, having some experiments. I haven't done one of these little multiple level swipes before. Some people seem to have had quite a bit of fun with them, so let's, let's have a little fun of our own. All right, even though these are old tools, I like to clean as I go. So, cleaning up that paint spreader. I'm just going to use my hands to kind of pull a little of the umber over the sides to coat the sides. When I'm swiping, it's going to coat the sides of the swipe because that's just kind of how it works. The paint's going to fall off the edge. So... I don't know if all of you like burnt umber kind of brown colors, but I like earth colors sometimes. So we're going to do metallic um, rather than like oranges and autumn colors. So I'm going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of metallic black. Metallic black. Some metallic gold. Okay. Let's see what I'm doing. Let's click it over. A little more to see the colors. We have metallic black. I've already got the co copper. There's silicone in it. There's already silicone in the gold, but I might put another tiny drop. I'm not sure. Ooh, almost put gold in the metallic black. Make sure they're good consistencies. shut my caps as I go to. Alright. Gold. I think gold 
copper and black with that brown base might be good enough. So, put one drop I have a habit sometimes of overdoing, over coloring a project, and I don't want to do that. I have these paint swatches. My husband and I have spent two and a half years doing painting things, and that's what I'm going to use to swipe. They're about the right width. So, I think I'm just going to go for broke. No pattern, no reason to rhyme. Instead of using a swipe color, I'm just going to use all of these and swipe. That umber bottle is in my way. Right in my way. Gold. All right, time for fun. I'm just going to let it fall in there and pull it toward me and see what we get. Just a little corner there. I could get it with a palette knife, but might as well pull. And I can touch that up later if it becomes a problem. And I'm going to wipe it off on my rag every time. And we'll start from a different point. Again, I can always touch that up with a little of the burnt umber later. It's looking kind of fun. I don't know about you. I'm liking the color mix. All right. So instead of that in the trash, instead of leaning and pulling that way, I'm just going to turn this whole thing. This is a 10 inch by 20 inch canvas, so long and narrow. Let's see what we get on this side. I'm, I'm liking the effect. I know some people have more of a big gradation in the middle, but I don't really need that. So let's drop it in and pull it this way. I don't mind a few harder lines, but I don't like them super hard.
Dropping my paint swatches. paint out of my way. Alright, that's kind of cool. I'm going to take a torch to it and then I'm going to tilt it a little bit, I think. That rag has just about been fully saturated, so we're going to say bye to that one. Almost fully saturated rag. All right, torch time. I really am liking the copper with that. Whoop! Come here. I'm really liking the copper with that burnt umber underneath it. I love the gold too, and that little touch of metallic black adds contrast. I really like that brown and copper together, especially. All right, we're going to tilt toward me a little bit. Just move some of that paint. I don't want to completely destroy the cell structure, but I don't mind stretching cells a little bit. I like the patterns that stretch cells make it almost like snake hide or Lizard hide or dragon hide. Yeah, dragon hide. That's it. Let's go back that way. Looks like I've pulled most of the paint off. It's not moving much, which is good because I don't like big hills of paint in my paintings. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit of that on the wrong side. I'll tilt it a little bit more just to make sure that pours off the ends. And like again, once it's dried, I can always touch up little spots. With the same. Hey, this over here is annoying me though. I'm gonna get my little palette knife. I'm gonna do another little mini swipe on this corner and that corner. Kind of boring over there. Needs a little help. That's a 
little better. Now we'll bring it back. All right. I'm going to clear the bottoms of drips. Drips sometimes will pull the paint off the canvas. And then we're going to let that set. I like it. I think it's pretty. I'm going to pause you and bring you down so you can see more closely what the color blend is. Pausing. All right. So here is the color blend. I think it's really cool looking. I like it a lot. And using unusual color as my base. Hope you have a great day. Please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Hit that little bell on the side if you want notifications of when I put new videos up. And hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Or if you didn't enjoy it, conversely, hit the thumbs down. It's up to you. Have a great day. Stay safe. See you soon.